Good day, everyone. We're very happy and privileged to present our paper for the 8th ASNET International Multidisciplinary Academic Conference 2025, or IMAC 2025. Our study is titled, Pre-Service Teachers' Experiences in Developing and Using Science Comics as Educational Materials for Elementary Science Education. The authors consist of Mr. Peter Paul Canuto, Mr. Dante Magdawan, Ms. Marites Chikawan, and Ms. Deborah Lomicho from Ifugao State University, Philippines, including Ms. Nicola Dupais from Apayao State College, Philippines. For the introduction, comics have surpassed their traditional role as entertainment and emerged as dynamic and effective educational resources, seamlessly blending art and text to create a dynamic learning experience. Comics engage readers through a unique interplay of images and words, allowing for innovative storytelling techniques and artistic expressions. Comics, shorthand of comic strips, is a set of related drawn images presenting a story or timeline, including words or phrases within or next to each image, or they may not be used at all. Usually, the sequence of pictures is employed to depict sequential processes or to present a story. When used in instruction, it is most proper to call it as educational comics. A positive learning environment and excitement for pedagogy and cognition can be fostered through the use of comics. It encourages students to think critically about active engagement and ideal learning strategies. When integrated into science education, teachers can use it as an innovative tool, providing visually engaging platforms to present complex scientific concepts. In particular, science tunes and science comics are the most common terms used when comics are integrated into science education. Specifically, science comics seek to convey scientific information and inform readers regarding certain non-fictional scientific ideas or themes. It can substantiate teaching science strategy. Since most science lessons are conceptual and difficult to portray, comics can serve as an effective pedagogical instrument for translating abstract scientific topics into visual representations, all while engaging the students. Teachers can establish a connection between scientific concepts and students' personal experiences through the use of science comics. In teacher education programs, the incorporation of science comics into the training of pre-service teachers supports their skills enhancement, application and integration of educational technology or edtech, and information and communication technology or ICT resources. It contributes to their training as an engaging pedagogical tool that enhances their understanding and teaching of complex scientific concepts. Visualization, constructivism, and technological pedagogical content knowledge, or TPAC, are some of the theories supporting the utilization of science comics among pre-service teachers. The first one, science comics are based on visualization, a cognitive process of generating a mental representation of a visual image. Pre-service teachers can use images in science comics to contextualize information within a narrative or story. Visualizations in science comics make learning more engaging and applicable by placing information in a meaningful context. Science comics and constructivism are inherently linked through their emphasis on active engagement and meaning-making in learning. Science comics among pre-service teachers align well with constructivist principles as these visual narratives dynamically engage learners, encouraging them to interpret information, make connections, and explore con complex scientific concepts through storytelling. By integrating comics into a teaching internship, pre-service teachers can develop critical thinking and creativity, fostering a deeper understanding of scientific ideas while gaining insight into effective pedagogical strategies they can employ later in their instructions. Integrating science comics in the teacher education can also be creative and effective way for pre-service teachers to apply the TPAC framework. TPAC provides a framework that empowers the pre-service teachers to thoughtfully integrate science comics into their teaching practice while considering the unique demands of science, content, and pedagogy. As pre-service teachers explore and refine their use of science comics in the classroom, TPAC ensures a balance and purposeful technology integration into their teaching practices. Based from the literatures, we identify the following research gaps. As academic institutions increasingly seek innovative ways to engage students, science comics have emerged as an innovative trend in a valuable educational tool for promoting scientific literacy, encouraging exploration, and making learning fun and impactful. While there has been a fair number of studies exploring how comics can enhance students' engagement in literacy and the advantages of teachers in using them, there are only a few identified studies assessing the experiences among pre-service teachers regarding their use of science comics. Most studies dwell on the impact of comics on students' academic performance and teacher benefits. There is a knowledge gap concerning exploring the pre-service teachers' experiences integrating science comics as educational materials in their delivery of science lessons and teaching practices, especially in the locality. This study aimed, therefore, to explore the pre-service teachers' experiences integrating science comics into elementary science education. 
It also aimed to determine the benefits they have gained and the problems they encountered in developing and using science comics as educational materials. The conduct of the study was guided by the following questions. 1. What benefits or advantages did the pre-service teachers acquire integrating science comics into elementary science education? The second one, what are the challenges they experience in developing and using science comics as educational materials? The study used a qualitative approach, specifically the descriptive phenomenology design. It focused on exploring and understanding the pre-service teachers' experiences developing and using science comics for elementary science education. The researchers engaged the participants in some structure interviews using guided questions regarding encounters with planning, creating, designing, integrating, and utilizing science comics in their instruction during their teaching internship. The participants involved three Bachelor of Elementary Education or BE Ed pre-service teachers at Ifugao State University or IFSU Tino campus. They underwent their practice teaching during the second semester of the academic year 2023-2024. They were deployed at Palabayan Elementary School or PES, which is a cooperating school of the campus. Among all the students, these pre-service teachers were purposely selected because they were the only ones who extensively integrated science comics in their lesson plans and utilized them as educational materials in their science instruction. That is from planning, designing, lesson delivery, and utilization. For the conduct of the study or procedures, First, the researchers solicited approval and collaborated with the campus officials and the pre-service teachers supervising instructor who directly managed their deployment and teaching internship. Consent and approval were sought from each of the pre-service teachers detailing the study's scope and structure and their freedom to withdraw without repercussions. The pre-service teachers developed the science comics using a graphics design tool already used in one of their previous subject courses. The pre-service teachers employed science comics within one week of their teaching. Each pre-service teacher utilized four to five science comics related to elementary earth science and space science lessons. After the pre-service teachers employed science comics, the researchers conducted the interview personally. Afterwards, the recorded interviews were transcribed and translated in the English language. Thematic analysis of translated responses followed through. The presentation of the findings concluded the study. For data analysis, the researchers were solely responsible for conducting the interviews, transcription, and thematic analysis. To observe anonymity and confidentiality, the pre-service teachers and their sponsors were assigned codes that is from P1, P2, and P3. Individual scheduled interviews were done using guide questions and recorded using smartphones as audio recording devices. Findings were determined through thematic analysis, providing a systematic approach to identifying, analyzing, and repeating patterns or themes. For the findings, analyzing the pre-service teachers' responses led to four major themes. These include the first one, student benefits from learning through science comics. Second, teaching benefits of utilizing science comics. The third one, teaching skills enhancement in developing and using science comics. And of course, the fourth one, challenges experience in developing and utilizing science comics. The first theme relates to the pre-service teachers' observed benefits of using science comics among the students they have taught. Overall, the pre-service teachers concluded that the science comics have positively affected their students in terms of cognitive and affective domains. This allowed the students to understand better scientific concepts and, of course, the lessons. The first sub-theme is enhanced learning. In this, the pre-service teachers observed that their students' learning abilities were enhanced using science comics. They indicated that it helped the students to understand the science concepts easily and affected their imagination in learning retention. This is due to the science comics' concise dialogues and related visuals. The second sub-theme is students' heightened curiosity. This caused the students to question the lessons and the contents of the science comics. This also stimulated the students to scheme all its pages before even reading it. It was also observed that the students that the science comics were a dynamic tool in elevating student engagement. It was observed that the more appealing the design, background, and characters used, the more the students were engrossed in the science comics. It was noted that the graphics used capture students' attention. The science comics also motivated students' reading. Due to the brief dialogues and short stories presented, the students were more likely to read the science comics. The concise sentences made students' reading feel less daunting, particularly for reluctant readers or those who struggled with traditional texts. The second theme refers to the teaching benefits earned by the pre-service teachers in using science comics. It presents the myriads of advantages they have gained in incorporating science comics in their instruction. The first benefit is enhanced content knowledge. By interacting with science comics, the pre-service teachers perceive enhanced content knowledge. It provided them with a fresh and engaging way to make science lessons concise due to the short narrative of the science comics. 
We found ways of simplifying science concepts, presenting them as clearly as possible through the characters, dialogues, and related graphics. The second benefit relates to encourage teaching innovation. The pre-service teachers indicated that the use of science comics boosted their innovation. They adopted it as an opportune supplementary teaching resource to support students' learning. It encouraged them to be innovative, allowing resonance between instruction and the students. For the third benefit, the pre-service teachers affirmed that integrating science comics made the lesson planning more effective. It provided a versatile, engaging, supportive framework for them to plan their lessons. Incorporating it allowed them to integrate visual storytelling into their lessons, making science concepts more accessible and relatable to students. By leveraging the dynamic nature of science comics, they could tailor les a lessons to accommodate students' learning styles and abilities. For the fourth benefit, a better classroom management was experienced by the pre-service teachers in using science comics. They described that it was easier to handle the class since the students maintained minimal noise as they were focused and invested on reading the science comics. It captured their attention and interest, minimizing off-task behaviors. This third theme recounts the specific teaching skills the pre-service teachers enhanced or improved while developing science comics and using them as educational materials. The science comics provided dynamic support among the pre-service teachers, evolving their pedagogical approach. This is aside from the other previously presented benefits they have gained in using science comics. First, improving creative and artistic skills was one of the significantly enhanced teaching skills experienced by the pre-service teachers. They divulged that they become more creative and artistic in designing science comics. They indicated that considering the science comics design, such as the colors, characters, fan styles, and symmetry positively affected their creative thinking. They also indicated that selecting vibrance, attractive colors, and graphics expanded their designing knowledge. Second, technological literacy was another enhanced teaching skill experienced by the pre-service teachers in developing and using science comics. They could use online resources and comics and graphic tools in designing science comics. Third, the pre-service teachers had better time management when using science comics and ended the lesson promptly. They indicated that the science comics were used as teaching guides, optimizing instruction timetables. Since science comics were integrated into lesson planning, lesson delivery was easy to follow. Lastly, the pre-service teachers improved their storytelling skills through the narrative structures of the science comics. They acknowledged that the science comics provided the structured yet flexible medium for narrative development. They have to think critically about plot structure, character development, and pacing, allowing them to refine their ability to convey information compellingly. This fourth and last theme present the challenge experienced by the pre-service teachers in developing and using science comics. Amidst the benefits gained, the pre-service teachers revealed their struggles regarding science comics. First, the pre-service teachers experienced their, that they lacked familiarity, knowledge, and experience in creating science comics. They struggled to design and select appropriate graphics due to inexperience using computers and online digital platforms. Likewise, they lack familiarity and experience in using designing tools and online comic generators. They expressed that this affected the initial science comics they have developed and used. Second, the pre-service teachers conveyed that a lack of knowledge and design affected the development of science comics. They said the difficulty in finding a design that fits the lesson. Third, having a weak internet connection in the locality significantly affected the pre-service teachers. Sometimes, they could not create science comics. They experienced difficulty in downloading related visuals. Besides, they also encountered troubles using online comic generators and graphic tools. Fourth, the frequent electrical power outages in the locality affected the pre-service teachers in creating science comics. Since most power outages were abrupt and unannounced, they experienced recurring problems regarding downloading designs and templates and printing science comics. In summary, science comics are unique and innovative educational materials that combine visual art with scientific concepts, making complex ideas more accessible and engaging. It has gained popularity as a teaching resource, sparking students' curiosity about scientific phenomena. They are increasingly being embraced by the pre-service teachers as a versatile tool for their teaching internship to enhance their instruction and pedagogy. As established in this study, the pre-service teacher participants' use of science comics offered a glimpse of the advantages and inconveniences they experienced. They shared observations regarding the benefits of using science comics in their teaching or teaching their students. Their students were engaged and enjoyed learning, leading to better learning in scientific literacy. The study uncovered that the pre-service teachers perceive science comics as affordable and favorable, vulnerable in lesson planning, classroom management and discussions, and beneficial for their knowledge and teaching innovation. Further, the pre-service teachers enhanced their teaching skills regarding technological literacy, instructional time management, storytelling, creativity, and artistry. 
On the other hand, they've expressed that they found creating science comics time-consuming and had difficulty making concise content. They also struggled due to their lack of knowledge of computers and design skills. Their creation of science comics was further hindered by weak internet connection and power interruption. Here are the references that we use in this study. And that concludes our presentation. Once again, we are the authors, Mr. Peter Paul Canuto, Mr. Dandy Pagdawan, Ms. Maritas Chaykawan, and Ms. Deborah Lumisho from Ifugao State University, including Ms. Nicolette de Pais from Apayao State College, Philippines. We have presented a study titled, Preserve Teachers' Experiences in Developing and Using Science Comics as Educational Materials for Elementary Science Education. Thank you very much.